What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Good Old Boys YouTube channel. Today we're going to be rebuilding the Hawk again. The old top end or the second top end I put in this thing has burnt out and it's because of poor Chinese quality. I bought eBay parts that I should not have bought. So this time we actually went through Texas Power Sports and already looking at the piston, it looks like a good quality piston and ring. So we're going to throw that in the bike. I think it's going to work really well. So let's get going. So before we get too far, this is the Chinese top end I put on here. It was on there for not very long, a little over a thousand miles. It didn't work out. So I'm going to show you guys the miles and hours that we're putting the new top end stuff in. So we have 6,153 miles and then 201.9 hours. So this is in preparation for the Utah trip. So uh, of course, we're going to have a fresh top end for the Utah trip. I am going to try and break this thing in the best I can for at least a couple hundred miles before that trip. Uh, so I'll let you guys know some updates as we go along, but this video is just going to be a quick video on uh, the top end, doing the work on the top end. Now, this is not going to be in depth and in detail like the original, you know, top end video when I put the Chinese top end on here. If you guys are looking for a video that will guide you through every last step of rebuilding the top end on Hawk 250, I have a video on that and I'll link it in the description box below. Another quick look at the spark plug. So I just rode the bike to warm it up to uh, dry the water off of it after washing it. So it's a little bit warm uh, still, but uh, we can see the electrode looks a little bit whiter. We can see a little bit of fouling around the, the edges here, just black um, carbon. So spark plug's not fouled, but uh, we can see it's a little bit lighter color than it was the first time I took it out and showed you guys after this thing was burning oil. So I'm not sure what's changed here other than it's burning maybe a little more oil so anyways that's what the spark plug looks like at this point we're still looking peachy although it does need an oil change but we're going to be doing that after we put the new top end in it Once again. All right, guys, quick little look at the head and the top end parts. So here are the dowels that go between the jug and the head. You can see the little oil galley O-ring. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. Of course, it is flattened out, but so is the other one when we took it out. So, you know, nothing that's unexpected here. So here's a closer look at the underside of the head. You can see there's a few more carbon deposits here. We did run this thing for a little while while it was burning oil, so nothing that's out of the ordinary. So here's where things get interesting. On the top side of the jug here, you're looking down on the piston. So you can see all this oil that's kind of sitting in here. So that's kind of interesting how wet this is. And, you know, I would have expected this if it was burning a little more oil, but uh, kind of crazy that there's that much oil in the top here. So we're gonna pop the head gasket off here. We'll see if this one is reusable. Now again, uh, a lot of you guys do not like the fact that you can reuse a head gasket. Uh, so we're gonna try it out here on the Hawk 250. I did not buy a new head gasket for this thing. We're gonna be reusing one of the old original head gaskets. So this one looks like it's in pretty good shape. You can see none of the orange ceiling surface is gone on either side or ripped off. So this of course was the gasket that came with the eBay parts. And as I said before, if you buy eBay parts, uh, it's the downfall of your bike. And we can clearly see that here. I think everybody can see that. Uh, we could see clearly that when I rebuilt this thing, I showed you guys the honing in this jug and it was very, very poor honing, very deep scratches. So I'm sure that helped the rings kind of burn out, probably wore the rings down a little bit prematurely. Now we can see, well, you guys can't see, but I'll show you when I get this jug off. There's no more uh, honing in the cylinder here. It's all been worn down. All right, guys, let's continue on. These are the eBay parts. You saw me just take them off the bike. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at these, wipe them down, see what we can see. And then we'll be comparing these to the original top end and piston from the bike. Here is a good example of what the skirt of the piston used to look like. You can see the machining marks. 
right here is an example of what the piston looks like after we have ran it now i am going to put the total mileage on this ebay top end on the screen for you guys We can see it does have some scoring. Uh, and from what I can tell, um, after 5,000 miles, almost 5,000 miles of running the original top end, the piston looked like this. And keep in mind, that original piston saw a lot of water, a lot of oil with moisture in it. This new top end hasn't seen anything but maybe a little bit of dust from the K&N air filter, maybe a little bit of carbon buildup, but it has not seen any water of any kind. Uh, the bottom end of the bike has been completely dry since I modified the airbox. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the jug. This is the eBay jug. So looking in the eBay jug, looks like it's worn down pretty smooth. Um, and again, kind of crazy how smooth this is after, you know, it's barely, it barely has any miles on it. I mean, look at how smooth that is up through there. So we're not looking at this section. We're looking past this line here that's where the piston stops and goes back up so the piston rides on this part of the wall the cylinder wall and we can see very poor uh it must be poor quality metal can't see any more honing and there's no real good reason for that so now before you see the original top end here we have well all the stuff on this list you guys have seen me go over this in another video uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Here is the original piston. You can see it doesn't look too much different than the eBay piston. In fact, they look pretty much exactly identical in color, size, everything, shape. Uh, so it's going to be hard to tell them apart. So I'm going to have to keep these two separated. But uh, we'll wipe this one off here. Let's see here going to take a quick look for markings here so we have a little uh, permanent marker dot here that looks like it's a shade of red or something so keep that in mind and there we go so that's going to be the main difference that little red marking uh, on the original piston here so again we can see not much difference at all they were exactly identical when we first put them in the bike and i made sure of that before i put the ebay parts in the bike Again, the main thing we're comparing here is wear. So again, here's the red dot. So this is the original piston. And then this is the eBay piston. Like I said, the skirt, it's amazing how much wear there is on the eBay piston here. You can see all the gouges. Uh, it's kind of unreal. Of course, the original piston has a decent amount of gouges, but uh, it's crazy how similar the gouges are and how many gouges there are. And this top end that only has a thousand miles or maybe 1200 miles so again i wanted to show you guys a really good example of honing again here so this is the honing on the original cylinder wall this is where the piston skirt or piston did not touch the cylinder wall at all this is how factory honing looks and this is how honing should look now you can see how smooth the bore is in this original cylinder so uh, we're actually gonna be reusing this cylinder. So we'll be honing this later in the video, but we'll get to that later. Okay guys, really quickly, last thing I wanted to talk about here, this is the new piston. So I got it from Texas Power Sports. This will be my first experience with them and it's been a pretty good experience um, other than they didn't send me the tracking or shipment tracking right away. So I wasn't sure if they sent it out or not. Anyways, I ordered it on the 16th, got it on the 24th. So not too terribly bad on the shipping it was pretty quick shipping uh free shipping i paid 55 dollars for the piston and rings as you can see the rings are already on the piston this is exactly like the factory piston in every way uh, it does have teflon on the skirts and it has some kind of coating on the top and sides all the way down to the top of the oil ring it did come with a wrist pin and it did also come with the little uh, c-clips that hold the wrist pin in there so so far, this looks like a really high quality piston. I think we're gonna have really good luck with it. It does look like it's OEM and looks like it has OEM quality. Next, we're gonna go ahead and hone the cylinder. So I have this cylinder hone tool. This is the number. If you go into your local AutoZone, you can pick one of these up. You can actually rent these. They're $30 or less.
This is the setup here. I have a five inch exhaust pipe from an old truck. I have a plastic container that I've cut a hole into. What this does is it's a barrier between this sharp metal exhaust pipe and the soft aluminum surfaces on this jug. I've already chucked up the hone tool. So you wanna dip it in there just like this. Make sure each stone has got oil on it. You don't have to use brand new oil, but if you are using old oil, just make sure it doesn't have any rocks or stone or grit in it, all right? This stuff doesn't have any grit or stone in it, so it's gonna be perfect for the job. And you gotta remember, these are sandstones, so you are, to an extent, sanding the inside of the cylinder. The drill went ahead and died on me, so while we're waiting for the battery to charge, I'm gonna go ahead and install the new piston. <laughs> So as you guys can see, I'm taking care of a few things while we're waiting for the battery to charge here. So one of those things is actually the base gasket here. The original base gasket that came off of the original jug actually has a little bit of a crack in it. So I've already swapped it over to the eBay head here. Right here is where the crack in the gasket is. In this case, I am actually gonna stick with the eBay part. This gasket is in very good shape. Okay guys, so this is how the honing turned out. Unfortunately, there is no way to replicate factory honing unless you have a $2 million honing machine like they do at the factory. Ideally, you want 45 degree cross hatch hone marks in there. We're not exactly there, but again, I don't have that $2 million hone machine, so this will work out fine. So I think the main point here is that we don't have straight up gouge marks for honing like they did on the Chinese cylinder. So that's it guys, the Hawk is put all the way back together. I'm gonna to take it for its first heat cycle. I'm gonna come back and let you guys know how everything went. Just to kind of hit home what we're reusing and what we're not. So we reused the original cylinder or jug, whatever you wanna call it. We reused the base gasket and the head gasket. We have a brand new piston and brand new rings. We've actually used quite a few of the old parts. A lot of people say you can't reuse head gaskets. And I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised by the results of running a used head gasket. All right, let's go do the heat cycle. All righty guys, so I'm back from the first heat cycle. Everything's checking out. I don't smell any more oil burning. As expected, the rings were the issue. So we can see here the head gasket's looking really good. It's not leaking. Um, nothing's pouring out of the head. Nothing's pouring out of the base gasket down there. So of course I haven't changed the oil yet. We're gonna do that now. I wanted to let the engine wear in at least for the first 10 miles. Officially change the oil at 6,159 miles in 202.1 hours. So you guys can see the first heat cycle, you don't go very far. It's just a small, very easy on the bike kind of ride. So now we're gonna change the oil. Well, that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. There'll be the other video of the full, in-depth, detailed, top-end rebuild in the description box below. So go check that out. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Woo!